again and welcome back to my channel so for the continuation of present simple to be um, is are we're now going to have questions or interrogative sentences okay so yes let's start So for questions or interrogative uh, sentences, we have, okay, this one, the first column, affirmative or positive, I am. But in question, we have to change the position. In affirmative, subject plus verb. In question, change the position. So the be verb first plus the pronoun or the noun or the subject. I am, am I, he, she, it, is, is he, is she, is it, we, you, they, are, are we, are you, are they, okay. Let's have the example sentences or questions. Am I late? No, you're on time. Is your mother at home? No, she's out. Are your parents at home? No, they're out. Is it cold in your room? Yes, a little. Your shoes are nice. Are they new? All right. Again, you have to look for the subject for you to decide which verb to use. So, I, of course, you have to use am. Your mother, okay, mother is singular. We have to use is. Your parents ends with s, plural noun. Use are. It use is. They pronoun they takes are. So we say, is she at home? Is your mother at home? So not is at home your mother. So the verb plus subject not verb and then the subject is at the end no so they are always together okay let's practice mm -hmm. think of the answer yes is is your job interesting because job is singular. Yes, the answer is R. The subject here is you. Pronoun you, not the lawyer. So yes, this is also a noun. But this is not the subject. You are talking to this person. So you is the subject here. And we have to use are in the beginning. Are you a lawyer? So in questions, we also use WH. So what are those WH questions? Where, when we are asking about the place. What, when we are talking about the things. Who, person. How, there could be how many. How long, how much. Why. Where is your mother? Is she at home? Where are you from? Canada. What color is your car? It's red. How old is Joe? He's 24. 
How are your parents? Are they well? These postcards are nice. How much are they? This hotel isn't very good. Why is it so expensive? So we also have short form. What's, whose, house, where's. What's the time? Where's Lucy? Who's that man? How's your father? So don't forget to look for the subject first so that you can decide what verb to use and what WH question. So you have to also consider the answer. Okay, let's practice. Blank ear children, three, five, and seven. What could be the question? Yes, it's how old are your children? Three, five, and seven. How about this one? What is your favorite sport? Basketball. So favorite sport, sport is singular. So we also have short answers. I am, I'm, yes he is, yes she is, yes it is. No he's not, no she's not, no it's not. Or, no he isn't. No, she isn't. No, it isn't. Yes, we, you, they are. No, we're not. No, you're not. No, they're not. No, we aren't. No, you aren't. No, they aren't. Are you tired? Yes, I am. Are you hungry? No, I'm not. But I'm thirsty. Is your friend English? Yes, he is. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. That's my seat. No, it isn't. So when answering, you have to check the question. Talking to you, are you tired? Yes, I am. Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Okay, so when you are talking, is your friend English? We don't know the gender, but of course you can see that person, a man, so yes, he is. Keys, plural, we have to use they. Plural things, plural people, we have to use they. Okay, seat is the subject here. Singular, so we have to use Now, what is the short answer here? Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are your hands cold? So we are talking about hands, plural. Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. No, they are not. So you always have to look for the subject before you answer. Okay, so that's all for my presentation about questions and interrogative sentences. So uh, I run out of battery in my camera, so I can say goodbye to you. But yes, just listen to my voice. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys uh, learned something again from present simple to be am um, is are. So I hope I can see you again in my next lesson. So have a good day. Bye.